How about 20 bucks for all of it? Are you thinking you want the uh, candlesticks? Wonderful. Can I take those up for you? We'll wrap them so they stay perfect. Get her rock and change, and we'll get you wrapped up. Okay. All right. You're all set. Can I carry this out for you? Uh, no, I got a man here somewhere. Whoa. That's it. That's it. Yes. Card has been attracting more and more buyers by teasing interesting items on her website a few days before each sale. I looked online at the estate sale and I saw this picture and I was just drawn to it. And his work is so moving and I love clowns. So it was meant to be, I think, me and this clown. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if she likes it. I'm trying to sell the silverware to somebody via text message. Oh, are you? <laughs> Collect uh, autographed baseball, so this will go to my collection. Always hot, Mickey Mantle. He's the greatest. I believe we were asking 75 on those. I came to this estate sale because they said they had Waterford Crystal. So are you interested in this set, maybe? Well, we have to take a look first to see if, okay. it, if some of it uh, is worthy of the price. I deal with Waterford Crystal, Steuben Lalik, Fine Crystal, buy and resell. Yeah, definitely seriously thinking about it. I found some uh, Waterford pieces. They seem to be in pretty good condition. OK, all right. We'll uh, probably see you tomorrow when the prices are a little more negotiable. They're from 1945, 20 bucks each. Right. Okay. Hi, Joanne. How are you? It's Kari. OK, Kari. I'm adding a whole bunch of stuff here. You are? That's great uh, news. That large brown chest in the living room. The buffet. OK, $3,000 on that is the bottom line. In the dining room, the china and the buffet, I feel uh, 5000 is a reasonable amount. In fact, I stopped at the Ethan Allen store the other day and priced that. The china cabinet and the table and the chairs, they're not going to sell at an estate sale at that price. That's, that's just grossly overpriced. I just want to let you know that. OK, then I'll take them with me. The red chest uh, with the drawers, 1100 with the components and speakers, and that's bottom line. OK, Joanne, that's uh, not going to sell either. You're going to be left okay. with a whole lot of furniture at those prices. I'm just being honest with you. Joanne's prices have Kari worried that they're not going to meet their target. They're moving pieces out the door, but Joanne will have to adjust her prices if she hopes to sell all her belongings. So I just hung up with Joanne, and she's just not being realistic. Like the Ethan Allen, the dining room table, and china cabinet set, she's saying $5,000, which is just... That's really unrealistic. I, I... It's crazy unrealistic. I'm not putting a price tag on that. People will laugh at us. We're in a tough spot. Joanne's goal is to downsize and make money. But with these high prices, there's little chance of that. At these estate sales, customers are looking for discounts, and there just aren't any to be found at this sale. Oh, it's very nice. So, Sharon. Yep. I got this uh, looked at. What's your guess? I don't know, about $750? $1,200 is the estimated value. So? That's great. I'm going to 1200 we'll stick it 1000 firm. Day one brought in just over $2,400. They didn't sell any furniture, and sales consisted mostly of smaller items. Curry knows that they could have doubled their numbers if the prices were more realistic. Customers will be looking for more discounts as the sale continues. So if Joanne lowers her prices, Curry will at least have a chance of meeting her goal.